Hey everybody, we are here at the Great Big Greenhouse with your favorite gardening expert, Doug Hensel. So this week's topic, Japanese beetles. beetles. So what do we need to know about them, Doug? You know, now that it's July, yes. uh, this is very common for Japanese beetles to come out this time of year. Gotcha. And when they're out and about, they do a lot of damage to our plant material, uh, especially roses, uh -huh. crepe myrtles, and some of the other flowering plants. Right. And so they're gonna be out for another 30 to 45 days. Ooh. And they're gonna be eating away. So a lot of customers have come in saying, what's going on with my, why are my roses looking so funny? Yeah. It doesn't take much to understand what's going on. Gotcha. And here's the culprit guy right, right there. there. <laughs> so yes. what do we do, Doug? How well, do we get rid of Well, that's a good them? point because as I, as I say, it's all about education as to how to control this. Mm -hmm. And when they're in this stage flying around, yeah. um, what I suggest, that as gross it may seem, they don't bite. Okay. I, I suggest that people just find them and like this guy right here and just pick him off and put him in a bag and go around and protect huh. your plant. The more you do this, the less egg laying is happening which is the first control if you can reduce the number of eggs being laid by the female sure. in our turf um, the less problem we're going to have down the road so what if i'm not as brave if, as you <laughs> doug and i yeah. saw some over here um what else can we do well there, there are a lot of good safe products okay all right um seven is one okay for instance mm -hmm. um captain jacks is another and sometimes it may take everything here. A Japanese beetle trap. Okay. And now this is what I recommend a lot because what I'll, if this was our plants that we wanted to protect, we would want to take our trap and set it way away from the plants. Okay. And with the bait that's in it, and that bait will lure Them all away. these beetles to the trap. Gotcha. And um, get them away from our plants. Love that. Love so, that. So. That's that's the that's the game plan now. Okay. Is spray, hand pick, yep. spray, uh, while they're out and about. Gotcha. Gotcha. Then the one of the most important things uh -huh. is this bag right here. What's it's that? called Milky Spore. Okay. This is a product that you'll put down in September. Okay. The eggs that are laid are going to turn into white grub worms. Right. We were talking about that. Yes. Yes. And. This milky spore helps kill and control white grub worms. Good. So we want to do this in September while the white grub is still at the top of the surface in the soil uh -huh. before they go deep for the winter. Because that's what they're going to do is go deep and live in the soil deep okay. in the winter. Then as we warm up next spring, they're going to come and surface again. And then they'll, the first thing they're going to eat is our turf roots. Right. So. The last application, you want to do this in September. And again, though, in February oh, okay. or early March. Gotcha. And do it twice. Twice. September and then in February, early March. We got it, and guys. And that's it. All right, so I'm not going to, nope, Doug, I was going to say, we're going to end this because he's still holding that Japanese beetle in his hand. So if you have any questions for our favorite gardening expert, just send us an email at 12abouttown.com or you can come see him at the Great Big Greenhouse. But that does it for here, for us here. We'll have more 12 About Town today coming up after the break.